Dead by Daylight, Nicholas Cage. He's everywhere, man. That's right. Nicholas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in July. I mean, I don't know how these things happen, but I figured the money. Way to find That's how this happens. Probably to go right to the source. Oh, is he going to actually come out on stage? His bold creative choices have earned him an Academy Award and a few memes on the internet across more than four decades of incredible films. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicolas Cage! There's going to be a similar moment to, who was it? I can't remember. Was it Michelle Rodriguez who came out on stage talking about uh, playing Tekken in the arcades? It always feels like when they get a celebrity for these things, these are people who just don't really care much about games. It's like, hey, I'm in this one, so I'm here to promote it. I don't know. I see a lot of people like Nicolas Cage, so he may, may, he may legitimately have an interest in video games. I don't know, though. Maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be in a Hideo Kojima game. But Dead by Daylight, I mean, how does this happen? He'll show up in Fortnite. Everybody ends up in Fortnite eventually. When I make movies, one of my except Mario is horror. And in this and because we know how Nintendo is a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game. So that was good enough for me. OK, that's what, yeah. I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors in this game. And it's cool that, you know, it's, it really is this museum of horror. Michael Myers, you said all these different characters all coming together. Um, and you do you pl you play yourself or who do you play? So I play this uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, uh, he's going to a location thinking he's making a movie and instead he wakes up in the fog. And in the fog he's surrounded by crows and serial killers and it's rather amusing. And there's something about it that I think as a survivor is like a bonding experience. It's a bit like hide and go seek. You have your three other teammates who are survivors with you, and you, it's teamwork. You're working together to pull through, and I like yeah. that. And so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well, that, that feeling of bonding with your friends. And you're fully in for this. I know we heard your voice in there, so you yeah. recorded lines for it and everything? See, I want you to know when you're playing the Nick Cage survivor, I even have when you're choosing your skins, I even say, always remember to dress to match your talent. <laughs> I want you to know that you're with me, that we're one, that we're fused. And so it was important to me that everything I do, we're everything fused. I say, from the scream to the grunt, down to the most minimal, exasperated expression of uh, a sigh, whatever it is, it's my voice, so that we are fused. All right. <laughs> Fully method, Nick Cage. I love it. Uh, I, I mean, this is so fun. This game, as you said, is such an. Hopefully, it's not something like you know, that hurt. Characters. For you, Ow. how did you find out about Dead by Daylight? Do you know much about the video game? Somebody world? very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast, okay. and and that really put the uh, hook in. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, Dead by Daylight to me was an opportunity to branch out. To I've never been invited into this space before. Yeah. I'm always looking for new adventures. So this to me was like, wow, I can, ma I, make a, I can make a whole new audience, meet a whole new audience, and branch out and go on this Dead by Daylight adventure. I, I didn't say it took me nothing but a split second to say yes. And speaking about split seconds, what, <coughs> excuse me, what I noticed, <coughs> excuse me, sinuses, uh, allergies, what I noticed... Was <laughs> make I'm allergic to gamers. <laughs> it's it's time down to the split second. It's an it's a very immersive experience when you're acting out in this space because every move, every grunt, every sigh you make has to be timed perfectly with the gamer's move. So yep. that was something that I learned from this, and I'm always looking to learn something. Well, we love having you in the video. Yeah, you have to learn how to act without so actually hard. acting <laughs> off of other people. It's harder than people think it is. A lot of people, a lot of people come out and like, oh, I can do voice acting. Like, yeah, yeah, try. It's like the morons that they AI can replace voice actors. Like, okay, yeah. The AI can only do voiceover for it if it's regurgitating things that people have said by actual actors. It's a cheap imitation. This does look pretty funny, though. <laughs> it's the anim in the game. 
He's got like a permanent scowl on his face. He's unimpressed by these monsters. I guess that's why the gameplay footage is not finals on there. Don't worry, he'll emote in the in the actual game. Somebody's laughing crazy in there. Anything goes here at Summer Game Fest. All right. I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's now, lately we've been seeing an incredible number true for of video game anything in video games. Back in 